So a letter to the community has been dropped by Throne and Liberty devs where they talk about the problems the game is now having and basically the realisation that they have to come to in order to fix the game. And today guys we go through the entire thing where they talk about population drops, service instability, uh, the creator character error, we've seen friends list and the disappearance of them which is a, an annoying ass bug, and the auction house bugs, realm switching, uh, key binds, I mean there's quite a few things that let's talk about so let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and now I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent. Now if you'd like to win it's as simple as this, drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subs. I'll pick winners from the comment section and announce them in a few days. So good luck everybody. Okay, so they dropped this letter to the community last night. I was going to cover it, but I was just so tired. I spent so many hours on this game, guys. I was just completely knackered. I wanted to get some sleep. But yeah, I thought I'd wake up and do it first thing. So here we have it. So they start with watching players work together to unlock milestones, engage in massive battles, and strive to become the best skilled motivates us to deliver even more memorable moments. Right now we are focused on addressing the biggest player reported issues. Below you'll find a list of notable issues, followed by actions we've taken to resolve them. As we forge ahead, we will continue to listen, adapt, and pour our passion into making this a special experience for you the players who make it all possible. Okay, so they then talk about population drop, service instability, and inaccessibility. Okay, so they state, after we opened commercial launch servers, we immediately noticed that some players were being disconnected. That was me. Encountered stored black screens. That was me when loaded into the game. Yep. Yeah, gate server issues and login loops. Yep, I had them all. All the other issues are related to the same cause which we're working to address. Over the last day we've reduced the number of occurrences significantly but it's not fully resolved yet. This is a primary focus of our technical teams at this time. We understand how it impacts your play session and are working to get it resolved as quickly as possible. Now I'm not going to lie, I mean after the day one, well, not that I said the day one patch, that's a lie, they dropped a patch a couple of days back now, the 1.1.0. I haven't had any of these issues, so it's been fixed for me, that's for sure. But it's unfortunate some players are still experiencing what I experienced. Uh, I'm actually also seeing as well, which I'll probably talk about here, people losing their characters, losing their... I don't even know what's going down there, but I've seen them not comment on that whatsoever. So hopefully as this list goes on, they speak about that, but that would be absolutely terrifying you put in so many hours into a game uh, even some level 50 players have had their characters completely wiped completely deleted hopefully there's some backup somewhere where they can get restored but hey i wouldn't if that happened to me i'd just stop playing the game i really would so they go on to say as many players noticed especially in our european community a number of connection issues including the infamous gate server disconnect have occurred her team has been working around the clock with nc soft to isolate and resolve these issues the gate servers were getting hammered by the number of logins which put them in a state that wouldn't allow players to connect or stay connected to the world servers. We've tripled the number of gate servers almost everywhere and haven't seen them drop in connections in the last few days. After that, we noticed the world servers and the world's DBs both hit limits on their resource utilization. While we had scaled these up from the hosts in their Korean service, we didn't realize just how far we needed to go. We've since scaled these services up, more memory, IOPs, uh, etc. And this is to allow the process of more resources while you're smashing the servers with your killed. Okay, so cool. Now we're going to move on to cannot create character error 10. I didn't get this. I mean, but hey, I know many, many players did. We have received player reports about encountering and unable to create character on the servers 10 error message. While this error message is true, it was slightly misleading as the issue is caused by a world not allowing new characters to be created or existing characters to transfer to the server in question. When a world was at its character creation cap, the server selection screen did not update with the information quickly enough. We apologize for the confusion. World servers that are locked from the creation of new characters 
will periodically have their caps increased as players progress. We understand that it's inconvenient to wait if you're trying to play on the same server as your friends and we are committed to raising the cap appropriately. This is a balancing act to ensure that queue wait times also remain acceptable. So cool. Okay, so the talk about now friends list have disappeared. I had this issue. I also cannot add people on my in-game friend list for some weird reason. So at a stage, we've received reports from some players that their friends list has disappeared, while other players have experienced issues with their friend requests remaining on screen even after accepting or declining. We're looking into this to determine the cause and appreciate your patience. So yeah, also look into please why can't add people as well. So yeah, hopefully it falls into the same problem other players are having. Okay, so auction has bugs in Europe. Okay, I'm almost about to hit a level 40. I hope this is fixed before I do so. Some early access servers on the Europe region had an issue where their auction house were isolated. Efforts to consolidate them introduced new problems like the inability to post items, items are being to be sold when they weren't, failure to list new items and delayed lucent delivery. After determining the root cause, we've worked to correct the issues above. It's taken us longer than expected and we appreciate your patience while we work to fix it. So that's cool. Okay, so realm switching, finding characters and key binds, etc. Players discovered that their custom game settings were reset when logging in. The issue was linked to key bindings lost. Realm selection preferences changed and characters appearing to be gone and store inaccessible. A few key servers on the back end that store your settings were congested due to network traffic. Working with NCSoft, we rolled out more of these servers to handle the additional load from all the new players joining since the commercial launch, uh, which fixed the issue for some, but not all, so we're still working on it. Rest assured that no data has been lost and your character is still there. You just can't see it due to being defaulted to the wrong region. Waiting for a bit and trying again helps. Fixing this is a top priority. So this must be the issue I'm seeing players talk about in regards to characters being deleted. It must be this, so hopefully you get this back soon, guys. Okay, so lastly, they talk about AGID linking rewards. After we launched, we began receiving reports from some players uh, were not receiving their rewards for linking their game accounts to AGID. We've made some progress in our investigation, but are still working on resolving the core issue. In the meanwhile, we have begun manually granting missing rewards to players in batches and will continue to do so. The issue we're currently tracking can be found on our known issues page. If you're experiencing account purchase or billing related issues, please contact custom support. For all other problems, please be patient as our team works to investigate and resolve things as they're discovered. Your detailed reports are incredibly valuable. We will continue to monitor feedback and sentiment as we work together toward making Throne and Liberty the best experience possible. Possible. Okay, possible, possible. Uh, thank you for your support and we'll see you in the Silesium. And there we have it guys, to be honest quite a lot of things I've seen people bring up in regards to problems they're having with the game have been discussed here and hopefully guys they fix them ASAP. And there we have it for another update video in regards to Throne and Liberty. Guys if you've enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.